Cheers to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Oh, the irony. A sponsored video about being sponsored. So guys, just a reminder that we are in the process of filming season two at this very moment. And in between seasons, we're gonna be giving you these bonus videos. So this video is going to be about sponsorship because a lot of you guys have been asking questions about what it means for us to be sponsored in our, se in our first season of the series. That's right. Last time we started the travel series, we had zero sponsors and zero subscribers. This time things have changed. How much are we getting from our sponsors? What are we investing in the series? What is our new budget for our travels? And what does all this mean for Combi Life? All of that is coming up. G'day. Dear Ben and Leah. Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm Hannah from Centered Perfect. Congratulations on the success of your channel. We came across your profile and love your content. We're big fans of Combi Life videos. Your creativity and style is what we're looking for for our campaign. And we'd love to find a way to introduce our products to your audience. And we would love to work with you for your channel, Combi Life. We reject 99% of sponsor opportunities, and this is just some of the ones that we rejected from this week alone. To be honest with you, there are quite a lot of companies trying to get in front of our audience, you guys, and we don't really want to do that. But put yourself in our shoes for a second. If you spent your entire week as a full-time YouTuber creating content and then gave it away for free on the internet, would you be able to say no to the money? After all, everyone needs to pay their bills, including us. And here are some ways in which YouTubers like us make money through sponsorship. So what type of sponsorships can we do as YouTubers? So the first one is shout out and mentions and they can be either products that you're using and want to talk about and that can range from a couple of hundred dollars to a couple of thousand dollars depending on your audience and how much of a following you have. Reviews are another way for YouTubers to make money. Talking about products that are of interest to your audience is a great way to make relevant content and get paid. If you're just starting out as a YouTuber, you can actually do this for free by talking about products that you use and that your audience would be interested in and actually link to Amazon uh, product links in the description box of the video, thereby earning a small commission for each of the sales you make. As you move up, you may be able to approach other companies and get a commission basis which is better than what Amazon can offer you. And as you get to be an even bigger YouTuber, companies actually come to you to ask you to talk about their service, in which they may offer it to you for free, the product that is, or they may even actually pay you to talk about the product on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Another form of sponsorship is when a company will pay you a big lump sum of money to do the production. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah, so not all YouTubers obviously need a huge amount of money to do their videos, but some do. Yeah, this is really for the kind of higher uh, production quality. So especially if you want to hire a crew, people to improve the sound and the color and things like that, and just really create a high level, high quality production. That's when you're going to need a large production budget. If you're doing a feature film, a short film, or maybe like a little docu series or something. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, the best form of sponsorship is when it's incorporated natively into your content. That is the best for the viewer watching and also for the brand itself. Sponsor. Yeah, that's what's known as an organic promotion or sponsorship. That's what most YouTubers strive to do because it just seamlessly integrates into the content. So what did the sponsorship level look like when we first started the series? That is a very good question. If I remember rightly, I think we had no sponsors. Yeah, it was very budget. We signed off very budget. We went in with $6,000 to buy the Pombi. Yes, and the grand plan to drive it around the world. We realized very quickly that we needed help and that's when we reached out to our sponsors. So we went to Skinner Classics and spent 10 days restoring our bus and painting it and fixing up all of the leaky windows. The other sponsor that we reached out to was Wolfsburg West who are experts in Volkswagen parts and we were invited into their warehouse to fix the wiring of our bus and to also help us replace parts. 
From there we went to Rancho Performance Transaxles who have already sponsored us in the past when we were stranded up in Alaska and they very kindly agreed to be our lead consultants on the final drive and transmission builders for the project. So we were stoked to have them on board. And the biggest sponsor that we needed most for this project was a sponsor for our engine and that was CB Performance. They had build us an engine that we needed to drive across the world because without them we would not have been able to get the engine that we would have needed. And finally our overlanding sponsors are Go Westy. Yeah they were featured in season one where we did the overlanding bumper but they gave us a bunch of extra stuff as well which hasn't been featured in the series yet because we're still waiting to install it. Actually let's go check some of that stuff out. It's not far from here. Come on. Thank you to Paulina, Gabrielle, Terry and Lee for your sticker orders. They are on the way. My nan's house. This is secret project storage. It's not that secret, but it's my nan's house. And it's where we've be basically been keeping all the supplies for our build because we don't have enough room in any one location to um, do the build. Oh my god. Shall I get that for you, babe? This babes? is our awning. I'll get that for you. Oh, okay. So this awning has to go on our combi. This is part of our overlanding modifications from adding a room to our bus to be done. Go Westy gave us this awning, um, but when we went to see them, they didn't have any in stock and the vice president, Taylor, basically said, look, Ben, I've just installed one brand new on my um, Vanagon. If you want it, I'll go and take it off and you can have it. So you've got one to take with you. So this is actually off the VP's van. That just kind of goes to show how nice they are and how supportive they've been for our project. So very look much looking forward to installing this on the bus. Not sure what Boomerang's going to be looking forward to that. Go Westy have been um, very concerned about our traction and our recovery, so they've given us a bunch of recovery gear too. And also very heavy. But look at this. This will be rough. This is a winch. This is going to be uh, a big, very useful, very big tool for kind of self-recovery in some of the places that we may find ourselves getting stuck. So it's a bit of an insurance policy. We're not exactly sure how we're gonna mount it to the combi yet, but um, we would like to have a winch on the combi. There's still a ton of things that we have to install on the van, but we are gonna be making a dedicated video on making our rig into an overland capable adventure mobile. So that will be coming up in season two, so stay tuned for that. Oh, we're the same height. <laughs> this is perfect. So what does it mean? What do we actually give our sponsors? It's not easy to find a sponsor and we did have to do some convincing to show them what we can provide them and how it's gonna benefit them working with us. So one of the reasons where it's gonna be a completely native promotion, like especially from this build where we're building a camper van and we're working with Volkswagen people. It was just a perfect fit to work with, with brands like that. Yeah, and another real good um, advantage of being part of the series was that it's an evergreen story, meaning that it doesn't really have a shelf life. Every single month, thousands more people are watching our series. Obviously, they hope to recoup their investment from the products that they give us through exposure on the channel and through basically enough of you guys seeing that product or service and going, oh, yeah. that's cool, I want that. And then they reach out to the companies and hopefully they get their money back and a decent return on it as well. Also, apart from doing the hours of research and filming and editing, that's a, a job in itself, but it's also the hours and years of build up of followers. Yeah, it takes a long, long time to basically build the, the audience to be able to uh, track sponsors and we've done that and so now that we can and we're very grateful for it because let me tell you 
without the sponsors we've had in season one of our Around the World travel series, there would be no travel series. But you probably want to know what we got from the sponsors. We've been getting a lot of questions actually uh, from people on our channel asking about like, what's going on? Have you, you know, you hit the big time. Uncle Jeff's world, thank you so much for always watching and always commenting. We appreciate you. He asked, I would love to hear about your new budget. This is obviously no longer a $10 a day per person trip. $100 a day now, $1,000 a day. Did you get major sponsorship? Even the build of the new bus is what? 20,000 US dollars? Easily. <laughs> that is a great question, isn't it? Yeah. Um, I know a lot of people are asking that, what, what our budget is and how much the van's worth. We'll come back to that at the end. But first of all, um, let's talk about what we got out of the sponsorship deal. So for season one, our sponsors gave us products and services in return for our services. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, no money was actually exchanged. We didn't get paid to promote those companies. We just uh, got their services and we were very, very grateful for it. Because as I said before, without their help, there would have been no series. But you might imagine that an engine doesn't taste too good and neither does a wiring harness unless you're some Mexican mouse. So we can't eat the products and that is therefore not how we fund our travel series. We actually fund our travel series through the Combi Crew, which is our channel members and our patrons. We've opted primarily for a crowdfunding approach to funding the series because um, it allows us to give the most back to you guys that are in the Combi Crew, like we can make um, exclusive unlisted videos that we don't share anywhere else. We do live hangouts in the Combi, I think there's one coming up this weekend actually so if you're in the combi crew stay tuned for that lots of good stuff and that is how we actually make our travel series happen but the sponsorships were absolutely necessary for us to be able to build the bus which we'll be using to travel around the world we're on our way to our next location and i just want to say how beautiful the beaches are here in Jersey. It's absolutely empty. There's a beautiful old church over there and it's just, we have it all to ourselves. It's gorgeous here. Location number nine is the noisiest location. Yes, yeah, right facing the beach because that's good, but it does look pretty, doesn't it? This is my favorite beach in Jersey. Okay, now that I'm in frame, um, to answer Jeff's question, um, how much is our budget? Well, it's definitely not $10 a day anymore. But the thing is guys, like the reason I did the Astro Alaska project where I traveled for roughly $10 a day between Chile and all the way up to Alaska was to kind of show you guys. I wanted to document that, that so that you could see that you didn't need to have money to go and do an adventure. And I had a really good time doing that, just buying a van and getting in and going. And I met this lovely lady on, on the road, so it was totally worth doing. But this project is a little different, right? Yeah, it's gonna be um, more of a Tindola Day kind of type thing because not only are we going to our country, it's gonna be more expensive to live in and travel in, but also this van that we're building is more like our permanent home now. So we spent a lot more money on this than the other one, the previous. Yeah, company. we are investing in it because we wanna live comfortably. So yes, the van is probably gonna cost $20,000, um, but that doesn't mean that you guys need to spend $20,000 to do what we do if that's what you want to do. If you want to have an adventure, you can totally do it in a budget van. Hey guys, just want to interrupt the video for one second. All this talk about how much the van is going to cost, the important thing I think is how much is our budget going to be for travel? A lot of people might think with all of this expenditure out on the series that we may be spending a lot of money. That isn't going to be true. We are still going to be doing a budget trip we want you guys to be able to identify with the type of travel we do. And the very reason that we travel overland slowly in a vehicle is because it's the cheapest, most, e most economical way to travel. So we'll be sharing that entire adventure and experience with you guys. Yeah, we actually have a couple of videos coming out in the next few months about budget travel in the USA and Mexico and South America. And that will give you a, an idea of how much it costs to live this lifestyle. So that's coming out really soon. Stay tuned. Back to the video. 
So with all this talk of sponsorship and money, is Combi Life selling out? No. No. no! no is the answer to that. There is one caveat. We do want to make our content sustainable, so we will try to monetize our content so that we can continue to make our travel series. Because let me tell you, it's not cheap to make, but we absolutely will keep adventure at the core of our channel and will not be pursuing all of those kind of uh, emails we get every single week asking for us to talk about products. Yes. With that said. With that said, thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and helping us create videos. We had a lot of fun doing this uh, little campaign thing with them, so um, check it out. Thanks. Yeah. Leah, I've got something important to tell you. Well, I'm going to yoga now, so it's going to have to wait. Unless you want to come with me. What I wanted to talk to you about was the only one website design platform called Squarespace. Yeah, I know about Squarespace. They're the ones with the award-winning designer templates. Uh, yep, that's the one. It's used by a range of people and creatives. It's easy to set up and there's nothing to install or update or patch. Uh. Uh. And there's 24 7 customer support! Oh. Wow, Ben. You should start your own online yoga site with them then. Yeah, I could, couldn't I? Go to squarespace.com slash combilife to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're new to the channel, you can watch the series we've been talking about up here. If you want to watch our five year adventure from Chile to Alaska, that series is over there. And if you're in the combi crew and you want to see season two before anyone else, that's over there. Catch you in the live chat.